Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, how are you? If you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I just want to let you know that all of my socials are in the description, my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Redbubble, and Coffee. if you would like to support this channel. Also, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you would like to see more LGBTQ plus content from this face right here. So let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be reacting to Jubilee's Do All Asexual People Think the Same? I am actually on the ace spectrum i am demisexual and i always thought that these kind of videos are super cool to look at learning more about the ace community as a whole and figuring out how ace people see things differently and that kind of stuff so let's get into it watching this video i'm super excited y'all can hear me yes let's get into this we will be talking about this there's been times where i tried dating people because everyone is doing it but I was always up front, like, hey, I'm asexual, this might yes. be your thing, you know? And then they're like, no, no, I totally understand. Three months later, they're having a tantrum because you won't kiss them. Uh oh. Hello, everyone. Do all asexuals think the same? I love our community. Look at these beautiful Even people. I'm asexual. I still experience attraction. Also, feel free to play along in the comments, you guys. I would be putting strongly agree for this Three, one for myself. Two, because I one, still experience romantic go. attraction, aesthetic re attraction, all those other attractions. Wait, no, I did it wrong. Like, there have been times in my life where I've been like, is this attraction? Or like, is, is something happening? I'm here? also, I'm also demisexual, so that means that I do experience sexual attraction to people that I have a close bond with. I have experienced sexual attraction, but it's only been like three, four times in my life, as opposed to allosexual people who experience it a whole lot more often than Sorry. I do. I have just been like, no. Like, Hello, how are nice you? Nice looking, but I don't feel any sort of thing. Asexuality it really is a large spectrum. It's a under spectrum. spectrum! I fall under demisexual, which basically there we go. means that I need a strong emotional bond with someone before I could we feel love any type of demi representation. I can look at someone and say this person is really attractive, mm -hmm. but you know i don't have sexual attraction or like i want to date this person there's yes. also um like different forms of attraction there are I different forms of attraction aesthetic, but i don't really have like a romantic attraction I so we've got on a regular basis three two one go <laughs> somewhat <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> the way that I've been able to find a lot of people like in the ace community is through the kink community. And so oh, wow, that's interesting. Masturbating, it's things kink related. And so, yeah, I do masturbate. See, that's the other thing that people don't realize is that there are asexuals that are in the kink communities and are in like certain communities like that. But just because you don't have sexual attraction doesn't mean you don't have sensual attraction and like that kind of stuff. It's never in the sense that I'm like craving sex or want sex or even find sex attractive. I don't feel like horny often. Yeah. Like, when it does happen, I was like, okay. Wait, why are there only like, like 20 really people really here? <laughs> Listen, I would love to see an ace couple. I would too. To do regularly? Like, I mean, I got TV shows I could watch. I don't know. Me! I'm this bitch. I got TV shows. For it, you know, I'm really content with myself. Like, if I have an urge, I can eat. Personally, like, when I get an urge, it's more of an annoyance for me. I feel that. <laughs> I definitely people, feel that. Like, just because they don't experience attraction doesn't mean that they don't have any libido at all. Exactly. Yep. And so, like, you still might mm -hmm. feel the the need for that sometimes. But, like, I feel like for a lot of aces, it's, it's, it's just like, oh, this again? Like, that's how I feel about it most of the time because I do have a fluctuating libido. So when those kind of things do come about, I'm just kind of like... I could, this is, this is annoying. So I definitely feel that this is not something that I want to deal with. I kind of want it to go away. <laughs> it, it, it kind of is like a, a chore that you're... Also, this person, doing, adorable. Really I love their aesthetic so much. 
I'm curious to hear like your guys' thoughts on like someone like me who is on the opposite side of the spectrum. Like how do you view that as an ace? Well, I mean, high libido doesn't mean attraction. True. Mm -hmm. They're completely different things. I agree. So I many shows, it, movies, books, the libido <laughs> is annoying. I got stuff to do. I find sex repulsive. Three, two, two one, one, go. I would say somewhat disagree. For me, at least, it's just like there's always a bunch of other ways of attraction because, like, at the end yep. of the day, it doesn't have to be sexual in nature. You can find it, it doesn't. with like other just like other things, whether it's aesthetic or otherwise. Like, I'm in like the gray spectrum of it mm -hmm. of like asexuality. So like there are days. Oh, I love. I love that, I love that they got like everyone on the spectrum do, here. <laughs> Some people communicate through sex, like mm -hmm. that's their way of showing their emotion. And though it may not be for me, it just depends on who the person is. Yep. You're supposed to be able to trust that person as well. So if you mm -hmm. don't trust them, like what good is that going to do for you? Yeah. you know? Yep. And I really do feel like sex for me as a demisexual, it's um, like if we're not connected on an emotional or intellectual level, I just don't want it. Yeah, 100%. So for me, if I'm not like interested in you, I don't want you to making any sexual advances on me. Any like, don't even talk to me in like a, a like flirtation. You know what I mean? Like I get very uncomfortable with people viewing me sexually. But if I am having those kind of feelings, I'm like, okay, this isn't the worst thing to like. I don't hate it it's just it has to be with someone that i feel that way toward but any other person like 98.5 percent of the time i don't want anyone making sexual advances or think like i'm pretty sex repulsed they want obviously it's not something i can see myself participating in and a lot of asexuality asexuals feel like that purely about the attraction and not about the action you yes know, you cannot experience that attraction and still be like oh this feels nice to me mm -hmm. like sex is like an activity that you do in the same way that you it's can, like a like, workout <laughs> or shake their hand like for me it doesn't have like some other level or like the the level that society wants to tell you that is inherent to sex like i'm just like no it's it's an activity that you do with love your videos college freshman like, just figuring it out <laughs> thank you so much welcome i am a virgin three two one strong go. disagree yeah <laughs> demisexuals here <laughs> it's kind of what I i'm pretty <laughs> surprised that for me like sex isn't like people always talk about it and then it's just like well that's not really attractive to me and i have a supportive friend group i have hobbies i can do and it's like i think it's ridiculous how much pressure people put on virgins and like the concept of having a virginity and that kind of thing is just kind of disgusting to me in general because it places so much value on sex when it shouldn't be in my personal opinion because it makes it such a big deal when it doesn't have to be and it's just such a, another manipulation tactic within our heteronormative culture being like sex is this big thing and it really doesn't have to be also making people feel bad about the fact that they haven't done anything yet is just it's disgusting to me i rather find my time doing something else. it's like a workout that's time another time reason i'm not interested in it seems like a lot of work <laughs> but i was always up front like hey i'm asexual this might not be your thing you know and then they're like no no i totally understand three months later they're having a tantrum because you won't kiss them i've been in a couple relationships before um, both with men and a woman and so it still yeah, baffles I, I me that so many um, think that losing your so, virginity yeah. is so important honestly also what this i'm gonna rewind a little bit because i really liked what she was saying before hold on there's been times where i tried dating people because everyone is doing it mm -hmm. But I was always up front, like, hey, I'm asexual, this might not be your thing, you know? At least, and then so I want to talk totally about this a little bit more after. Three months later, they're having a tantrum because you won't kiss them. I've been in 
Okay, so let's talk about this specifically. So when going out with someone uh, or like meeting up and if you're like thinking about getting a little bit more serious, she said it on the first date, but I wouldn't, because I'm Demi, I'm normally friends with the person before so they know me. I definitely think being like, hey, this is something that I don't know if you'd be comfortable with. Like just letting people know right off the bat is super important, I think, because it is something that not a lot of people... I don't want to say a lot of people don't encounter, but it's something that could be a deal breaker for some people, which is totally within their right. So people getting into relationships with asexual people and then being like surprised that the ace person doesn't want to have sex, like that's not that's not on the ace person if they told you and then you agreed to it. And then you're throwing a tantrum? Like, how do you think it feels being with someone that you're like, okay, they understand this part of me, and then they're like, why aren't you doing this, this, and this with me? It feels bad. Like, it doesn't feel good, and, like, it's almost kind of, I don't want to say, like, guilt-trippy, but it is kind of guilt-trippy. Like, uh, it's a whole thing, but yeah. Um, both with men and a woman, and so, yeah, I've had sex with both um, of my partners. Another bi-romantic so, person here I love. Um, <laughs> When did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity when I was 15 or 16. What about you? Uh, I was I was 17 when I lost mine. And it's not the greatest story. Oh, no. I, I was coerced into Oof. having sex by my, um, by my girlfriend at the time. See, that's another thing that, like, sucks is because a lot of people in the ace community are coerced or like when they're saying hey i don't really want to do it but like you want to please your partner and it just sucks like it's not okay and you don't want to say that the other person is like a rate or like you don't want to feel badly about the other person because obviously you care about this person to some extent but it's just like bruh <laughs> uh, uh... Um, so I lost my virginity. Um, I'm gonna cry. Uh, because, uh, it was, if you loved me, then you'd have sex with me. And I hate okay, this! My first day. That's terrible. I don't wanna- I'm I, so I sorry that happened. I don't wanna have sex with her, but I'm scared that she might break up with me because I don't wanna have sex with her. This happens! So, and it's- Yeah, and that's, that's a really strong thing. It's the one, so of course you'd wanna make sure you'd stay with them. I want to hug you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's good. Like, <laughs> you support you. Like, it's so I sad. For, you know, having gone through that and being able to still, you know, find yourself and be who you are today. Yeah. And I want to hug you, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because COVID. I would hug I mean, that person. Never when I watched this for the first anything. time, I cried a lot. I, I feel so bad for them. I that I could experience sex. There's moments where I wish I wasn't asexual. Oh. I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna start crying too. <laughs> it's like it's so ingrained in our society. It is. Holy hell! Cry. Wait, I'm I'm gonna cry. Um, there have been point. Boys, I'm gonna need you to not fight right now. Daddy's having a moment. Um, it is really sad. I want to hug all of them. Same here. Questioning Ace. Um, so there have been moments in my life where. I thought that I wasn't going to be lovable. I know this is a therapy session that I thought that no one would want me because um, it's not like sex was completely ever off the table, but like points, like I don't want to do that all of the time. And it's something that like, again, like you want to please your partner and that kind of thing. And it's so ingrained that if you love someone, you have to do this to prove your love to them. And that's not all what love is. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I gotta calm down, but... We should have a romantic attraction. You should have sexual attraction. So <sighs> a lot of us, if we don't have the word, we feel so broken yep. until we find it. Mm -hmm. I was so lucky because I had a parent who knew what the word was. And oh my like, gosh. And my actually said, maybe you're asexual, you don't feel those things, and that's okay. But so many people don't have that word. They don't. I feel invisible to the LGBTQ plus community. Yes. Three, 
two. I would strongly one, agree with go. that. <clears throat> Maybe I just agree. The LGBT community of itself is very sexualized. It and at Pride is. It's, it, it's very sexual. I think it's hard for them to include. Yep. The sexuality that is absence of that. Yep. I've heard so many people say that asexuals don't get as oppressed as other people in the I LGBT hate this. community. But they do. That's not all that LGBT community is. It's not just whether you get oppressed or kicked out by your family. Yep. I definitely feel like it's a sexuality that isn't represented. I th can only think of literally two or three asexual characters that come to mind when thinking about like representation in media and then even fewer like celebrities and like that kind of stuff especially if anyone's ace and straight the community doesn't accept them as much i do want to do a video on this because there are so many people that are like oh you can be ace the only way that you can be an ace in the queer space ace in the queer space <laughs> I like that. Be ace in queer spaces as if you're ho homo romantic or bi romantic or pan romantic. I the person who in like introduced me to asexuality and told me about it, she is hetero romantic asexual and she's married. <laughs> like you know what I mean? And I just like I never understood why people get so mad because it's still part of the LGBT. It's not your fault and it's not a fault to begin with exactly asexuality doesn't really have representation i feel like people that are outside of the community don't even really know what it means people i think it isn't it like one percent of the population population is asexual um it also bad for being demi and straight because we're just trying to be special i've literally had someone fucking tell me this when i was 18 or 19 a friend of mine I remember saying something about being like demisexual and she was like oh everyone's like that you don't need to be a snowflake and I was like okay bitch like I see you like I see who you are being ace doesn't take like <sighs> it bothers me so much it bothers me that people think this way that it's just for attention or whatever and it's like no this is who I am um, and we're still part of the LGBT community. We don't get seen. We don't get heard. Also, asexuality. Oppression doesn't really get talked about a lot in the ace community because it's different ways. It's more medical oppression, I feel. Um, medical gatekeeping within the ace community than being kicked out. I haven't heard of anyone getting kicked out for being asexual. I'm sure there are people that have. I just personally haven't heard it. I know when people like tell their therapists or something like, hey, I might be ace or like I'm questioning whether or not you're ace. People are like, oh, no, you're just depressed. Like this needs to get fixed. It's a chemical imbalance, like that kind of thing. Medical gatekeeping is still a form of oppression. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to get back to this experiencing things differently from the rest of the world and it feels better to have a community of people for yeah. me this question is a little bit personal because the closest thing was for me was my auntie because my auntie is lesbian and it comes to relation with family like everyone accepts my auntie but when it comes to me it's just like oh you don't exist you haven't yes it makes me feel a little bit empty because like you're my family you're supposed to be, like you're supposed to be with me like you're supposed to be able to comfort me like as you say like pride is really sexualized and like pride is very sexualized and like encouraging people to have it needs to stop being so sexualized queer representation in the media that's honestly why i watch a lot of like cartoons and stuff for my queer representation because it's not as overly sexualized as in like adult content because I'm an ace who doesn't necessarily want to see those kind of things. They need to stop sexualizing it so much and just focus on the love between two people and definitely starting to see more diversity and more stories and more of the community than just cis predominantly white gay guys want also means that sometimes they don't want any i've heard people say like 
like what you experience is valid but you're not queer enough to be in the community <sighs> and i'm like who says then that what is queer enough That's yeah I literally I, gay. I really did want to hear everything out that they were saying because i completely agree with everything that they just said i do see more things on social media like i was just on the lgbt um website and they list like a whole list of different um ace identities we are becoming a little bit more open-minded about it but i don't want to give too much credit because i 100 percent agree that we need a lot of work in the community yeah there's so much work that needs to be done it's great it's really good but it also is driven by ace people yep ace specs. and there's no one at least there are fewer people in the broader queer community who are reaching out to us yes and like we want you involved well, do you know yeah some there's so much infighting you guys within the community i've thought about making videos about this but i'm not sure because i do try to keep my channel as wholesome as possible there's so much negativity within the community it doesn't surprise me that other parts of the community don't recognize or reach out to ace people in the community so they just stick to basically an ace community yeah and i mean i don't know about you but when i went to like meetups and stuff i would ask if asexuals were welcome <laughs> so i guess where i find community it's definitely like the internet because like i definitely remember definitely the internet like this show called like Bojack Horseman, and when you when I found out that like yes. one of the main characters Todd was like an ace. Literally the first, he's the first ace character I think of, and he made like an ace meetup app, and it was so cute. Ah! I loved when he came out as asexual. I cried. I help. cried. I like, oh, wow. It's still a work in pro like pro look, progress, that. but I thought yeah, I'd share nonetheless. When you are done, I would love to read it. That's like the biggest thing, is that if there's an asexual in media, they're just broken. Yep. We really find community through the internet. I've not been with this many aspects ever in my life. Literally! <laughs> I am still exploring my sexuality. Three, two, one, go. I don't know what I'd put for I used that. I identify as Demi and then I went to Ace, like Grey Ace. So like, I'm still at like, is this correctly? When I first heard about it, I identified as asexual and then growing up and getting the crushes or like looking back on a friendship that I had when I was younger, realized that I was demisexual. But I came to terms with that when I was around 17 or 18. So it's been that way ever since then. Guess I disagree, but there there have been points where I'm like, where I thought that I was faking it. Human beings change all the time. So I do think it's healthy to like question your sexuality and your gender from time to time. But I always seem to go back to somewhere on the ace spectrum, demisexual. I have questioned whether or not I was gray ace or not, but it, it always goes back to demi. Identify as. I am... Um still unsure of myself like I don't know what my own feelings are half the time and I am still young <laughs> so I'm trying to be okay with not really knowing some things about myself I like that at least for now I think I have it pretty down pat and I think that's um, one of the misconceptions about the ace community is that people will approach you and will think that you're not um experienced or you don't know yep. what you're looking for or you're too young and you'll figure it out um, and that's very um, wrong, especially in my case. Like, I feel like I'm really well experienced and I do know what I like and I do know what I don't like. Yep. Um, but at the same time, I think that there is still some exploring. I feel like a lot of people, I don't know if I'm saying that infantile eyes. Yes, some, it's something like that. Infantile eyes, whatever. Um, the ace community pretty much just being like, oh, you cute little asexuals, you're just, you don't like sex, or you don't want sex, so you're like, oh, you're so cute. And it's like, no, I'm an adult. Like, stop treating me like a child and I don't know my own feelings. Like, come on. Like, for me, it's like, I, I'm in the disagree section because like, I feel pretty, like, I'm pretty solid in my identity. There are times where I'm like, is, was that attraction? What was that? 
but like it doesn't matter <laughs> what it was <laughs> like it's not going to change my behavior i feel like at this point i already know what i want and i'm so over like other people judging me for it yep you know i'm just gonna stay here in my little bubble i'm comfortable <laughs> you, right here you know <laughs> i've had the term since i was like 10 i'm sure my mom probably thought i would grow out of it i'm sure she thought i was a late bloomer or something but like as i got older it's just like it just it just kept fitting oh they have an ace ring too i love it so when i first heard that when I first found out about what even sexuality is I found asexual and I was like okay I'm asexual but then when I got to high school I was like you can be straight or something like everyone else around you straight yeah and then I was like okay no maybe I'm gay because I'm not straight <laughs> and then I got to college I'm like okay maybe I'm bi maybe yeah, I like <laughs> maybe I'm something the <laughs> <laughs> and only like in the last couple months was I was like oh, I finally went back to asexual it's a broad label and I can be comfortable being under that umbrella yep <laughs> I literally love I love Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any more videos like this and reactions like this, let me know in the comments below. I really love seeing this kind of stuff. It's super cool and interesting to see what other ace people have to say. And just seeing more of our community in general is always super fun. Let me know down below if you want to see more stuff like this from me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.